What's good? It's your boy Coach T and welcome back to the Mud Talk Radio channel. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, because if you're into fashion, sports, life, and culture, then you're into this channel. Let's go. Before we get into the video, man, can I say shout out to all the new subscribers, man. We're continuing to walk down a thousand right now, man. If you're watching this video for the first time, or maybe you're pulling up on the channel for the first time, tell a friend, tell a friend, and tell a family member to pull up on this channel. We're trying to hit 1K within the next week or two, man. I need y'all, man. So I'm back with another sneaker review today, man. And as you can see, this is a Nike box, man. Hopefully that's in focus. That means a fresh delivery from, uh, I don't know who it was from. U UPS, FedEx, somebody. But you can see, we got a pull tab on it. We about to get right into it. All right, so the box reads Air Jordan 11 Retro. The colors are white, metallic, gold, and black, man. And if you see this box, you know what time it is, man. Let's stop playing around, man, and get into this joke. So let's take a look at the outside of this box real quick, man. I think this is a first on the channel. We have uh, officially brung our second pair of Air Jordan 11s to the channel. You can see this box, man. You see the outside right there? You see that, right? Got the gold jump man right in the middle. And we ain't gonna spend too much time on the box, but we hit on the shock drop. We entered two different raffles. We went one for two. So this pair right here is my wife's pair, uh, size nine and a half men's. And so, man, as you can see, like I, I said that correct, nine and a half men's right here. If you can see that, you can see it right there. Um, my wife entered this raffle and she she's pretty successful with raffles, but for whatever reason, she thought this was a women's shoe. So she entered for a nine and a half as if it was a women's. Um, low key, you should have just entered for a 12. If we was gonna end up with a pair that we did not need and nobody in this house can wear, you know, we should have just entered for a 10 and a half, that's Quay size, a 12, my size. Meanwhile, I entered and I took an L for a size 12. But anyway, if you if you hit on the, uh, the shock drop, drop it in the comment section below if you was able to get your pair early. Um, again, you're gonna have another shot at grabbing these, which should not be a hard cop with a million plus pairs released. Enough about all of that, man. Let's get into what's inside this box. All right, man. It's a pretty high quality box. As you can see the inside, you see the writing right there. Boom, what does that say, honestly, man? Yeah. I'm pretty sure um, my sneakerhead, you know, top tier people gonna let me know what that says, but I'm not about to spend too much time on it. You got some pretty cool little paper right here. It's kind of trans transparent, like you can see through it a little bit. Boom. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah, you know what time it is, man. We got the Air Jordan 11. Gratitude, man. Some people calling it the DMP. And we got that right here in the building, man, on the Mud Talk Radio channel. And it's an early look, a legit early look, man. I ain't bought no early pair from somewhere. This came from Nike. So for the trolls that's been in my comment section talking about fake pairs and weird stuff, bro, like pay attention to your sneaker drops and understand that stuff comes out early. All right, so we got the Air Jordan 11 Gratitude right here. Some people calling it a DMP. Of course, if you know about the DMP, we ain't gonna go into too many details, but it looks exactly like the sneaker. I'm not really sure why they called it the Gratitude. You can see Concord 11 base. You got that gold jump man right here. Of course, you got the gold right here on the back. <clears throat> and, the, and, and one difference that stands out about this 11 uh, right away, right away is that the leather quality on this upper is phenomenal. You can see that. Hopefully you can. It is phenomenal. They, they did a great job with the materials on the 11s. Listen, I've made it known that I'm not a fan of 11s like that. Um, I think the Concords and my breads were the only ones that I really felt like I had to have like that. And even once I got them, it was like I wore them one time and kind of was like, eh. Um, one thing I will say about this one, I like the fact that the sock liner is black. Unlike the most recent Jordan 11 that we brought to the channel, uh, the Neapolitans where the sock liner was white or it was kind of like an off whitish and you know with sweat or you know the color of your sock or something like that, it could turn that sock liner dirty instantly and you can't get it back unless you go to one of these uh, professional sneaker cleaners and they can maybe get it back 
clean for you. Or maybe you got a recipe for yourself, but I like the fact that the sock liner is black. This is just a clean shoe right here. So let's get the second shoe out real quick to do a side-by-side -side comparison. Appreciate it, babe. And as we always do, man, especially with a pair that was shock drop, you know, the patent leather, we're gonna look at that real quick just to make sure that it's not kind of like, um, you know how the patent leather can look weird sometimes on these Jordan 11s, but these look pretty good. These look pretty good. Um, one thing that stood out immediately, my wife noticed that there's a, looks like a little cut or something on the leather right here. I don't know if that's clear on the camera, if you can see that or not. Um, but it appears to be like a little slash right there. I don't know what the heck happened right there. Um, but overall, this shoe looks really, really clean. Really clean. Look at that. Huh? Excellent job. All right, man, so let's talk about styling this Jordan 11. I'm gonna tell you, it's not a hard shoe to style. Listen, man, it you know, this retro OG vibe, man, it really allows you to take this shoe in just about any direction that you wanna take it in. This is a phenomenal holiday release. I think that just looking at it, man, like I said about the most recent uh, video that I did on this channel, if you haven't already, man, click on the link at the end of this video where I drop a couple videos that I recommend for you guys to watch if you enjoy content like this. But I would say that this shoe falls right in line with what I said about the previous, is that you can, you can dress it up, you can dress it down, you can go comfortable with the hoodie and the jogging suit, man. You can, you can throw a suit on with these, and I'm saying that because I recently talked to my grandma, and my grandma was like super proud that I got my first suit, you know what I mean? Shout out to my wife and my daughter who went suit shopping with me, and we did it together. It was a family affair, but um, I could throw this on with a suit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I legit could do that. Um, this shoe has so much versatility when it comes to styling. You almost can't get it wrong. Well, I take that back. You can get it wrong if you uh, throw on a full Jordan outfit with a Jordan t-shirt and a Jordan pants and a Jordan hat. If you do that, you need to come back to this channel and continue to watch these videos so I can hook you up with some styling tips and some advice. I'm not a fan of the full Jordan outfits, man. It's just not it, bro. Like, don't do it. I don't even think I own any Jordan merchandise, like a Jordan t-shirt. Like, I, I, don't, I don't even own any of that. It's too easy. Get your style together, man, and really do your thing with these. All right, man, so I gotta give you my rating on this shoe real quick before we get out of here. And just looking at it, um, it's a beautiful shoe. It's a beautiful shoe. Underneath the lights, it's like, man, it, it looks even more amazing than it does online. And I'm gonna be honest, this will probably be the highest rating that I've given a sneaker on this channel. And that has nothing to do with uh, the fact that I haven't brought any hype sneakers to this channel. Because again, like, I don't like all hype sneakers. If a hype sneaker comes out and I like it, I like it. If it comes out and I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm not just gonna give it a high rating just because it has a high resale value or uh, people are going crazy on it, or it's Supreme or it's a Travis Scott or something like that. For me, I like what I like. And this shoe right here, it's something that I like. So I'm gonna go, y'all ready for this, man? Drum roll, here we go. Nine out of 10, man, nine out of 10, man, for the Air Jordan 11, the retro. You know what I'm talking about? The gratitude right here, man, right here on the channel, man. Nine out of 10, you think that's too high? I don't think it's too high. My wife looked like she excited for the nine out of 10. Hey, my daughter in the cut, nine out of 10, cool? She's saying nine out of 10, and that's from a little 17 year old, man. That, hey, that's some, you know, hey, that's real smooth right there, man. What y'all think? Hey, man, it's almost Black Friday, and I told y'all that we doing a Black Friday sale, but here's a, here's a, a, a piece of news that I'm gonna put out right here on the YouTube channel. The pre-Black Friday sale started a few days ago, man. So you can go onto the website right now, man. As of right now, you go on the website, there are items marked down up to 50% off, including this acid wash raw melon hoodie that I got on right now. Super heavyweight, super comfortable, and you need something that's gonna keep you real chill, real, real, you know, cozy during the holiday season. You know, everybody about to go see grandma and go see their mama and, you know, go eat some turkey or whatever you eat. I'm vegetarian, but we still gonna get on the mac and cheese. We still gonna get down on the greens. We still gonna get down on the potato salad. But hey, man, go to Raw Melon Clothing right now. As I say always, man, you know what I say. Love is free, hate costs. You've been watching Mud Talk with your boy Coach T. I'm out. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, hit that uh, post notification. Oh yeah, you Yo. heard it first and foremost. Go hit the like, go subscribe, go all that. All that, Just man. Like that.